follow me I'll be a river, river I'll do the running for you River was one that I wrote by myself It was, um... It was in my living room and I have a kind of, there's this piano that, there's like a, a stage piano that my parents bought for me when I first started going to university because I just, I had no musical outlet so they, they got it for me from my, from my uh, room. And um, I think the riff came first for this one. I had the... And I really wanted a kind of, I wanted to capture that gospel marching like slave song vibe to it so um just something that moves me it's like it's a it's something spiritual so and i the line that really got it was but if you're too big to follow rivers how you ever gonna find the sea so follow me I want to, I just, I love the changes and it really remind me of a, a spiritual song. So I just love that line, um, if you're too big or if you're too proud to follow rivers, how are you gonna find the sea? And I, I really don't know where it came from, but I knew it was a very special, a special line and the, the whole song kind of built around that. You, you last a lifetime. Lifetime is about how everything changes, and I think it's a topic I do visit a lot on the album. Everything around us is changing. You know, my whole life over the past three years has just, has been a roller coaster. Like, yeah, I've never guessed I would be here. So it's all changing, but it's, it's about the things that last in your life and how important they are. So lifetime is, you know, but, but you last a lifetime. And for me, I guess that's music. It's something that I know I'll, I will always do, whether I'm, whether I'm doing this, whether I'm teaching it, whether I know it's something that's always gonna be an important part of my life because it's the way I express myself. So for me, it's definitely music. I hope that the world stops raining, stops turning its back on the young. See, nobody here is blameless. Yeah, I remember when Alicia Keys first came out, I remember hearing Falling and just thinking, it was just stuck in my head. And I remember singing, singing all the time, just around the house, and then the album came out. And the fact she was just an incredible pianist and she was really thinking about her lyric, and when I saw her being interviewed, it was, she thought about what she was saying and she really accepted her responsibility as a female artist. And yeah, maybe, when was it? The beginning of last year, maybe around March, April time. My manager rang up, he's like, oh, do you want to perform um, at the Royal Albert Hall? I'm like, uh, yes, that would be amazing because I'm a big fan of this cellist called Jacqueline Dupre. I know she played there, so it was just so excited to do it. He's like, well, do you want to support Alicia Keys? Like, he did it in two parts, which was a bit, which was amazing. I was like, of, of course. And I, um, so that happened and it was incredible. I didn't get to meet her that night. Um, but then later on, um, my A&R was working on Professor Green's album in New York. And he went and met her and said, you should check out some of her music. You know, thank you so much for having her support. And then like a few weeks later, she's like, oh, just can Emily come out and do some writing with me for my album? And so cool. We went out there and I just, I had a fantastic time. Um, I learned a lot from her and we wrote some really great music together. And um, the song Hope was, uh, was I guess inspired by a lot of conversations we had and um, we were sitting, there's this beautiful piano pretty much like this one and uh, we're sitting top floor of this incredible studio and it was raining outside and I think it was like always it's the line that, that sparks it and it was you know I hope that the world stops raining and we were just all the things we hope for the world and like let's just put them out there see what happens. I wanna sing. The final track, the bonus track of the album, is an acoustic version of Read All About It and um, I guess my take on the song. Um, 
Working with Professor Green on the song was an incredible experience and I love the honesty he put into his verses. So for me, I really wanted to tie it up with the album and our version of events. And, um, you know, the song is socially, you know, it, it's, there's an awareness about what's going on around us. And that's really how I wanted the album to be, to be summed up. You know, it's our version of events. This is a, this is a truth of mine and I hope it can be other people can find a truth in it as well. So, um, you know, there is a line in the song that says it's time for, for our version of events to be on the radio, to be on the TV. Because I do feel, no matter what age or, or race you are, which part of the world you live in, I think a lot of people feel misrepresented by what is supposed to represent them in the media. You know, it's kind of, uh, these are the kind of these are the categories you can be in, these are the channels you'll find, songs that will represent you. And I think from when I was, for the music that I'm inspired by, you know, from, from the 60s and the 70s, and where there really was a reflection of what was going on in the world on the radio, or on the TV, that's what I think we need to, to establish again. And that's what I hope I can be a part of. So that's why I called it that. And that is what Read All About It is, um, is trying to say. <laughs>